Ask yourself this, how long would it take the average person to escape the back rooms? Disregarding entities, food, or just any random inconveniences that will make your journey longer? And with 16 levels traversed, our journey through this mysterious plane known as the back rooms draws nearer to its conclusion. And with us almost back on track, the question is, do we fail or do we push forward to complete our expedition and finally escape? This is Back Rooms Part 4, I hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe. Okay, I have educated myself in the, like the entire backrooms, but I don't even know who the hell this is. Uh, he seems nice, I guess. Greatly enough, Steve, you actually didn't get pushed into a random level this time, so congratulations and welcome to level 57, which is also known as the Diurnal Art Gallery. And who could have guessed it? it takes the appearance of an art gallery with two primary sections, the registry and the cozy gallery. We are currently in the registry, which is a room showing various pieces of furniture. There is a really much in this room but the registry table actually doubles as a bar meaning it has almond water to be honest kind of perfect for the you know jog you just had but yeah let's move on to the next room the cozy gallery the cozy gallery resembles a western art exhibit showing various paintings all in different sizes when approaching paintings, you may hear the noises associated with whichever level is depicted in the painting. Okay, anyways, the way we'll be going into the next level is by no clipping into a painting. So yeah, these paintings actually do correlate to the backrooms levels. Shit. Okay, I just realized you do not know how to no clip. Alright, I'll explain it and I'll make it quick. No clipping. No clipping is to put it simply, the action of travelling quickly enough to pass through a solid object. This is a very important skill to learn in the backrooms, as it is considered to be one of the main methods of entering and exiting many of the levels in the backrooms. Now normally in the real world, you can't no clip. I mean, other than accidentally no clipping into the backrooms, which is a very, very small percentage. However, since the backrooms has small quantum barriers, tunneling through them can be easier, and that's sometimes as easy as just walking through them, like you did in the heart. Now not everything in the backrooms can really be no clip through easily, but some things have smaller quantum barriers than others. So when you know something has a smaller quantum barrier and you have no other options, no clipping is pretty viable, especially since you don't really need to anything to do it. But yeah, last time you tried no clipping, you failed horribly. But this time, with this information, Steve, make like Mario and jump for that damn painting. Welcome to level 51, the Forgotten City. Before I explain anything, I'm going to explain your only task in this level, which is to go through it and make it to the end in order to get to the next level. By the way, I'm just gonna say it's really good that you have found someone in the back rooms. It is extremely, extremely rare and definitely benefits you most times out of 10. I have no idea who the hell this guy is, but since he's kind of wearing a mask that looks like an anti party goer, we can call him Party Pooper. Or you could just ask for his name, but he seems just as great of a person to talk to as you. You are. But uh, anyways, let me explain the level. Level 51 is a subterranean site of an ancient city, now long abandoned and fallen to ruin. The entirety of level 51 is suspended within an underground cavern, and the elements of 51 don't really seem to align with a single culture from the front rooms, and are more of just like a mishmash of various ancient cultures that you just would see. All forms of technology do not work at all in this level, and they will not until the level has been left. But that's fine since you don't have any electronics. Level 51 has a class for survival difficulty and can be pretty unsafe, unsecure, but has a medium entity count. Now, level 51 has three distinct sections, the labyrinth, the city, and the temple. I'll explain each as we go through, but right now I'll start with the labyrinth as we are there. Upon entering level 51, you'll find yourself in a marble maze, dotted with pottery baskets and candles placed around the corners. Vines have absolutely covered this place and you can see holes of various shapes and sizes that are just chilling in the ceiling. Some are actually dripping with black ooze. Ew. You should probably try to get out the maze as soon as possible since it's where the most entities are. However, the only entities that are actually in this level are like death moths, death rats, and crawlers, which are pretty small entities and you have definitely survived way worse. After exiting the maze, you'll be met with the city. Since this backrooms level is probably extremely old, a lot of the original structures have decayed to the sands of time. But from what does remain, you can probably tell that there used to be houses, farms, and even markets. 
You know, Steve, just by the aura, you can tell this party pooper guy is tactically built for survival. It's not a common at all to find someone else in this infinite hellscape, so cherish it while you still can. Not even I know how long this guy's been here, but for the looks of it, he's been surviving through some goddamn shit for a while. Is he alright though? Okay, well, you have made it. This is it. This is the temple. It's actually aged a bit better than the rest of the level. The temple holds various relics such as arrowheads and broken blades. There's also an insignia that I don't even know what this means. Yeah, even to me, I don't know a lot about this level. It's pretty mysterious. Now, beyond the main hall and at the end of the temple is an expansive meeting hall, which holds a large round table encircled with marble thrones and actually behind each throne is a door. Each of these doors would take you to a bunch of different levels. So now to quickly go through these... <clears throat> Level Phaeta, the hub, level Upsilon, level 11, level 906, oh, what the fuck is this? Neroscope, level 437, level 404, level 555, level 197, and level Infinite. Now, all of these levels don't seem to be related, so it's kind of weird that they're set up like this, and the average wanderer would definitely not know where to go in this instance. However, for our route, we're going to need you to go through the level Infinite door. Prepare yourself, Steve. Even with the party pooper, this next level can be dangerous. Welcome to level infinite. Yep, I said it right, level infinite. Before we get to any explanation, this level is a very dangerous and unpredictable level of the backrooms, which has a couple strange qualities that other backrooms levels don't seem to have. Level infinite is a class end of hell level. This means that it's unsafe, unstable, and has quite the moderate entity count. Level infinite is a plane terminal that seemingly just stretches on forever, and this level can actually possess its own day and night cycle, but of course I'll get to that later. Wow, well, now that you've actually encountered an entity, let me explain the entities of this level. This level is classified as one of the most dangerous levels of the backrooms because most known entities in the backrooms can be found in this level at any time. Mostly during its night cycle, but still the odd entity can appear at day, like it just did. Most people who get stuck here would have no idea how to leave for a while, but luckily you have me to get you out of this mess. So, so Steve, there is a very specific task list that I need you to listen and do exactly how I say. Even some small slip-ups within this task could send you all the way back to level zero and i doubt you'd want to do all this again i'd also get the party pooper to write it down since he can't hear me your task list is to go to the boarding station and greet the whited out figure he will ask for your passport and a couple of questions you don't actually need a passport but you need to answer every question asked truthfully if done right you'll be boarded onto the plane and if not uh we don't have to worry about that once boarded do not make any eye contact with anyone anyone at all other than that just take a seat on the flight as usual but when the plane lands you need to be the final one off the plane but when you are you'll be taken to the next level got all that i hope so At night time, the windows will turn into a shade of violet and open to the outside of the terminal. Do not enter through them as it is unknown where it leads you, and since it is night, I would advise you to hurry up and actually find this figure, since night is actually the worst part of this level. Holy shit, that's the wife. Oh shit. 
Listen, Steve, the backrooms isn't great to everyone. I would say just be grateful that it wasn't you, at least. Welp, welcome to the end, which is actually a false end. Level the end is technically a trap level, meant to lure wanderers into a false sense of security, thinking that they have escaped the backrooms. But since I've told you that, you don't have that now. Level the end is a class alpha level, and within this class it has an elusive appearance, it's completely unsecure, and I don't even know if there's entities here. Don't worry about that, it should be fine. When entering this level, you will experience nearly complete silence. There are rumors of these so-called fake realities, but I'm not really gonna go into much detail about these since this level's quietness is starting to piss me off. The end's hall ways are quite weird as they almost always lead a wanderer back to where they were before. Due to this and the layout, it can be easy to get lost, so don't go exploring especially since the exit is in this very room. The computer is the easiest and in my opinion the best way of leaving this level. Even though this level is a false end Steve, your journey is almost coming to an end. The next level we will be going to is safe and a pretty goddamn good one too. You should be proud of yourself. You have made it far in the backrooms and not a lot of people survive this unrewarding hellscape. But of course though, without any further ado, Run true and exe, and let's go to the final level. Welcome, Steve, to level 399. This is the level, the most prominent safe haven of the backrooms. Level 399 is a class habitual level, meaning it's safe, very secure, and it's completely devoid of any harmful entities. Level 399 takes an appearance of a seemingly endless arcade. It has practically everything that would be in your average arcade, such as food courts, play areas, and of course, arcade machines. There's an outside area of the arcade which represents an average parking lot with its cars, street lines, and trees, almost as if you've been transported back to the times you were playing air hockey or DDR as a kid. I'll get back to the outside later, but let's talk about the arcade machines. The arcade machines in this level are extremely durable and resistant to damage, even though some have signs of wear and noticeable dents. If you want to play a game, simply get any coin-shaped item since the machines take any currency or object that fits. When being invested in these games, it is noted that many mental effects of the backrooms are mitigated and wanderers feel at ease as if they're not even in this barbaric wasteland. This level is truly beautiful and this isn't even the best part. Personally I would chill here before doing what is needed because this place is great but of course let's get to leaving. The way we leave this level and the backrooms as a whole is by the front door. But before we do that, there is one or maybe a couple things that we might need to do. Firstly, we need to go to the front desk and collect the red button and task list. The tasks are random for each wanderer and once completed bring you freedom. So Steve, your task list is... Oh shit. See, I wasn't really wrong about the backgrounds being unlucky or unforgiving in the slightest. I'm really sorry. I mean, to be honest, I guess level 399 is a really good level. Like, it's a class habitable. Taught me how to chase the back Get right in the field, I had to make a back Until you lost your soul, wish I could take it back I just wanna go get one more bag with my brother Wanna be rich forever for my goal I'm Supposed to take you on your first trip on a private ship A fight will always ball until I fall We've been on this money game for years Gotta drink this blood to make the pain go away I've been dropping these whiskey tears